And the New Start Senate inquiry has moved here to Perth with hearings held right throughout the day. The Shadow Social Services Minister is Linda Burney. Linda, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Oliver. How are you? I'm well, thank you very much. The Senate inquiry to New Start has held its first hearing today in Perth. What have we heard? We've heard some very disturbing things uh, in the Senate inquiry being held in Perth today. Uh, what we've heard is that in Western Australia, there's been a 39% increase in the proportion of charities uh, uh, where people are seeking food and food relief since 2017. We've also heard that their rental affordability snapshot in uh, WA is just shocking, where people who are on New Start were not able to find any affordable or appropriate rental properties anywhere in the whole state. Yeah, that's really disturbing. There was also a story as well, I believe, uh, Linda, that we heard from Wendy Morgan. What can you tell us about that? Well, Wendy Morgan um, told her story um, at the Adelaide uh, hearing and uh, she's a woman in her 40s um, and on New Start um, she's had experience in the workforce, workforce, she's also got tertiary qualifications and she's applying for 100 jobs a week. Now, um, you know, someone with both qualifications and unfortunately we're seeing it, uh, that there's a lot of, that half the people on New Start mm. are now over the age of uh, 45. So it's a very different um, cohort to what people typically think of as people on New Start. Yeah, it is. And many of my listeners, uh, Linda, would be nodding their heads saying, well, I fall into that category at the moment and I've been applying for jobs for months and months and months, if not years, and there's nobody giving me a call back. Well, there's nobody giving them a call back and there's also not enough jobs. That's basically uh, basically what we're seeing. And, of course, a quarter of the people on New Start are actually over the age of 55 and you've got the combination of people that have been in an industry for a long time and I'm using the car industry in South Australia mm. as a typical one where uh, the government has in front of it at the moment legislation in front of the party Parliament that's going to make people who have a small redundancy payment mm -hmm. um, in the bank run that down before they can actually apply for new start through uh, doubling of the waiting time for a thing called the liquid assets, um, the liquid, uh, liquid assets, and it just is unbelievably cruel. I mean, that is the only thing standing between people. Um, whose car may blow up, they may need white goods, or if there is, heaven forbid, an illness in the family, they have nothing to fall back on. Okay, so the liquid assets wait time at the moment, how much money do you have to have in the bank before the wait so time the will be liquid, doubled? Uh, the liquid assets wait, wait time at the moment is 13 weeks. Right. Um, and um, if you're single with $18,000 in the bank, the government wants you to wait six months, so doubling... Uh, 13 weeks, 26 weeks, if you're single and got 18000 in the bank. So we're asking people to live off $18,000 over six months? That's correct. That's, uh, if you're single and if you're uh, a couple, I think it's 32000 Right. Um, or something along those lines. Okay. And, you know, that's not a lot of money, particularly if something goes really, really wrong. So we're talking here not only about the wait time blowing out, but also the push at the moment, and I'm sure this is part of your call, Linda, to increase... New start allowance. Yes. What would you like to see it go to? Um, I don't have in my mind a actual figure, Oliver. A lot of people are saying, um, certainly in costs and way costs and organisations are like like that. And I met with the um, uh, the unemployed workers union today, and they're talking seventy five dollars a week. Mm -hmm. But Labor agrees that it needs to increase. We haven't set an amount, and we'll wait to see what the fiscal um, climate is like closer to the next election before we do that. Do you think the government might act before the next election? Well, there's certainly an enormous um, incentive for them to act, of, apart from the fact that, you know, New Start is so low, it's actually acting as a barrier for people to get a job. It doesn't, um, it, it's not, it's, it doesn't help people get a job. We know that people are literally, and we heard this today in WA, literally going without 
medications, for example, for diabetes. Um, they're going without um, food, without skipping meals, uh, not heating their place during winter. They, there are people that are absolutely um, on their got bones. nothing. Absolutely on their bones, and uh, there is an urgent need for an increase. Apart from the fact there are many economists, Oliver, that are saying that an increase in New Star would be a fantastic stimulus for a very sluggish economy. Mm. Well, as you say, one in four people over the age of 55 now make up a New Start recipient, and if there are charities and the work of Wacos, for example, that's seen an increase of 39% in that proportion yes. of charities reporting an increase in the number of people seeking food, then we've got a big problem in our society. We have a huge problem in our society. I couldn't agree with you more. And the fact that uh, that we are... You, know, you, you, you don't think this is Australia that we're talking about when you hear about you know, the terrible situation that so many people find themselves in. Mm. And the fact that people are feeling quite terrorised by, uh, by Centrelink, especially with the robo-debt um, numbers the way that they are. Linda Burney, appreciate your time. These hearings will continue. Thank, Thank you so much. Bye. Shadow Minister for Social Services there, Linda Burney. Have you used New Start? Was it enough? 92211 That story of Wendy Morgan, a woman with 40 years' experience in the workforce, tertiary, other qualifications, applying for 100 jobs per week and not getting anybody giving her a call or offering her a job. And how are they for some stats? One in four people over the age of 55 is now a New Start recipient. Maybe that's you or maybe that has been you. You've been on New Start. Was it enough? What should it be increased to? Nine